You know, I was having a pretty nice couple of weeks. I mean, I was pulling God tier units in Dokkan. We just had the hero celebration. We had the God Yamcha. It was amazing. I got featured in a Yaro G video. That was also amazing. And then Dragon Ball Legends just, yeah. Yes, it is that time once again, folks. I'm ranting about Dragon Ball Legends. And for good reason, because the so-called Legends Festival, quotation marks, is, um, well, I'm gonna level with you guys. Legends has been on a downward spiral ever since the start of 2022. I mean, they had a couple of chances to bring it back in the past, but it's just really going downhill. Like, it's like the devs can't do anything right. So as we know, for part one of the festival, we had uh, the GT theme, so Tag Super Saiyan 4s, uh, which was, it was all right, but a lot of people didn't like how they didn't fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. We also had, you know, a bunch of other units like the Android 17, which was, yeah, it was pretty nice, but again, it's nothing compared to the superhero celebration that was released just prior to this one with Beast Gohan, you know, Awakened Piccolo and Pan, who absolutely broke the meta irreversibly. PvP is just nuts. Like, if you have them, you are guaranteed, almost guaranteed, almost guaranteed. It depends on how you play them, but if you do have those units, you're set. I think we can all agree on that. If you have Beast Gohan, Piccolo and Pan, you're set. So yeah, a lot of people didn't like how it was only just one LF banner. A lot of people didn't like how how there really wasn't that much to do in this Legends Festival. People, even content creators were complaining how it was basically a dead couple of weeks for Legends. And honestly, they weren't wrong. But now, of course, we have the future category confirmed for part two of the Legends Festival, which, again, really confuses me because I don't understand why they have to spoil the theme of the next celebration in advance. I don't know, I don't know why they do that. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it takes away a little bit of the hype. Like, a lot of people have been speculating, you know, Ultra, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, which I wouldn't be surprised if this was announced after the date of this recording. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, I don't know, so, sort of hope Trunks obviously is gonna get a boost. Well, probably, obviously not a Zenkai, but probably like Platinum equipment or something. I don't know, it's, it's, it's just confusing. I mean, recently they released a free-to-play Fusion Zamasu, well, I say free to play, but he's locked behind missions of some kind. I actually haven't played, you know, the events. I haven't played Legends in a little bit. I've just been watching it. And all I've seen so far is people complaining about how mid this unit is, how absolutely mid, comparing him to like that Tournament of Power Krillin and Majin Vegeta and whatnot. And yeah, reading the stats, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. And apparently his, uh, not his equipment, but the... New Platinum Equipment from Corrupted Merge Zamasu, the LF, is locked behind co-op or something, which I thought they didn't do, and then now all of a sudden, after the community backlash, they just decided to release, uh, I think it was a stage and the ultimate equipment for him, which is like, why wouldn't you do it in the first place? Are you... What is wrong with... To Toshi, you gotta talk to me, man. What's wrong? What, why you gotta do this? What is this, man? Like... <laughs> I don't understand the mentality of these developers. Like, do they want money or not? If you want money, produce the good content. Based? I think that's pretty based. That's pretty factual information. I will just say really quickly that apparently there's one W in this festival and that's the Hoi Poi capsules or coins or whatever. They redid that. So good on them for that, I guess. But I mean, that just does absolutely nothing in comparison to the whole of this part one for Legends Festival. I don't know what they're planning for part two, whether it be Ultra Vegito Blue, whether it be some, it has to be some kind of fusion unit because those, uh, we had those leaks uh, a couple of, was it a month ago or so? I'm not sure, whenever it was, with that fusion timer team, that hourglass and whatnot. So it's obviously a fusion's plan, it's probably Vegito Blue, but you know what? I, I don't know at this point. Will it save Legends as a whole? I'm gonna go with a no on this one. You know what? Forget what I just said about the fusion timer thingy, the leak. Uh, apparently that's just a mission uh, icon. So uh, that's major oof right there. And of course there's gonna be the people in the comments that say, well, you're Dokkan simp, you don't, you just trash Legends wherever you go. Well, no, it's not because I trash Legends wherever I go. 
I understand that uh, Legends has its W's and its L's. The same thing with Dolcon. You know, you look at Dolcon and it has World Tournament. That's getting old. I think it, we all agree it needs a revamp. I mean, you look at gameplay-wise, Legends has... You know, obviously, it's like Z Xenoverse 0 0.5. Xenoverse 0 0.5. That's basically Dragon Ball Legends. Which, I mean, I sort of didn't mind until, like, this year. Where, basically, PvP is just... It's just... A madness has occurred in PvP. Like, I am not understanding it. Then, of course, recently we had the LF Goku Black Rose Zenkai, which is apparently mid as hell. So, um, yeah. Apparently, as well, somebody on Twitter was complaining about how Chrono Crystals were locked in the shop. I think it's for the Legends Raid or something like that. And it turns out that's the case. So, pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie, they don't like you saving your Chrono Crystals. The dev team are wilding, what can I say? The dev team are wilding. That's just my little rant over there. I probably missed a bunch of stuff that I just can't be bothered to research about. Uh, if you agree or disagree, uh, chuck a comment down below, see what other people think. Um, yeah, Legends is dying. I'm sorry, it has to be said, Legends is dying. Unless the dev team magically get their metaphorical crap together, I don't know. It's just, it's sad. It has such a good potential and it's being wasted. But let's see what happens. Thanks, guys.